Welcome back to Game Quest, back to the quiz show. You'll notice a little bit of difference this time. We got all of the lives. Oh shit. No. What? I actually couldn't see the like the letters for a second there. Um Yeah, let's just start this off by failing immediately. It is? Oh, wow. Well. I've wrong before, I guess. Okay, we got a co single correct I like answer. No. It's 11. We learned that lesson the hard way. Alright. Now we're making progress. Yeah. Yeah, keep, keep asking questions we actually understand. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yee. No. Oh. <sighs> Reflex the fleet plastic. No. No, I can't. No. I feel like we've established that, like, that uh, Santa has... Oh, God. Pierre's heavier than Tanahaka as well as Pierre's born for Tara. What? No. Well. <laughs> you win. Well. I was about to say yeah, and then you were okay. It was too late. It was too late. I can't believe for the first time we've lost a life on the quiz stage. <sighs> yes. No, I'm not alive. I died. Yes. No. We have established Santa's reindeer uh, multi... No. <laughs> that was a lot of zeros. Well, yeah, but I'll say if it was in liters. Wait, what? It said it was a kilometer made of, like, a million liters. <laughs> liters. No. Oh, no. Uh. Oh, come on, two. Okay. Yes. Uh. Yeah, we did it. Nailed it. Nailed it. I think we got a perfect score this time. <laughs> First try. <laughs> and be gone to the racetracks. So I looked up the road, the uh, road markings, mm -hmm. and they don't mean what I thought they meant. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. See, so you know, the line is uh. Oh, it is dotted. So that means that this line, the line in the middle, means that because it's got these long dots to them, or these long lines, but they're. Actually, no, it's a solid line broken up by road fixtures. So what that means is that uh, one lane goes one way, one lane goes the other way, and there is absolutely no passing by going into the other lane. Ah. Okay. Part of the baffles me is that there's no civilian walkways and there's signs basically indicating a no pedestrian thing, but there's a crosswalk every 15 feet. Hmm. Wait, no. Should I say 15 feet or 5 meters? This is Japan after all. Um. We're going meters. Yeah. Oh, chaos it is apparently. I mean, I'm, I'm firmly in the standard of basically. It really doesn't matter 
what measurement you're using as long as, like, that measurement means something. Yeah. Like, if you know how big, a, how long a mile is, and you know how long a kilometer is, it really doesn't matter, like, which unit I give you the thing in, where it's just like, if I say 10 miles, it's 10 miles that way, and you know what a mile is, and you know what 10 is, then, like, that gives you the information you need. Yeah, basically. As long as the information's standardized. Well, that's the thing, where it's just like, a lot of people are like, well, most of the world uses the metric system. And it's like, well, yeah, but, and that's fair, but the thing is, is where I live, and what I grew up using is standard. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's just what I think in as a result of that. Yeah. And it's just as easy for you to get, like, a, like a stick that's me that has like inches on it as it is for me to get one that has like meter, like millimeters and centimeters and stuff. Yeah. Like someone just like, oh, what's that like in other measurement? I'll, like I'll try and do the math just to be helpful, but if you're the kind of person who's just like, and he was like, you use standard, and it's just All going like, down. you use standard. It was like, why don't you use like the superior system that everyone else in the world uses and I'm just like immediately I go on the offense and just like right superior how many moons have you landed on your country is so much better Flashbacks to Huni oh, Pop. Hmm. Because for the first part of the game, uh, if I remember correctly, there aren't time limits on the dates. There's move limits. Been a hot minute since I played that game. Well, let's assume I'm right because I usually am. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> there's like a move limit, but then suddenly it's just like. You get to the uh, <clears throat> romantic interlude after you go on enough dates and like a high enough relationship rating, and then suddenly uh, there is no turn limit, but like you have to rapidly acquire like a goal within a certain time limit, and it just is like the most stressful like gameplay situation you can imagine with that control scheme. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking to you about, right? Where it's just like at the end of it, you're just like you punch your kill your laptop and you scream, "Wasn't good for you." Oh, just a tiny bit. 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 Oh, there. There's no way I'm making this. There's no. There's no way I made that. I believe in you. That's a subtle symbolism, isn't it? He's like, oh yeah, fireworks. Ah. Uh, oh boy, so what happens next? That's a good question. I ask having been in this game before. <laughs> what do you mean, goodbye? Oh, so surprise. But why? How did she, A, sneak it in there with that basically tight, cute dress of hers, and B, well, I mean, never mind, he's incredibly oblivious, idiotic human being, so <laughs> I'm not surprised he didn't notice. Oh. Okay. What'd you get on the revised part one score? Um, I think it was like a beard or like overall. Cool.
I've always had a fondness for uh, Up and Smoke at Tokyo Bay. I've always had a fondness for ska music. Yeah? All right, then. Ah, oh, yeah. But you wanted our dirty old man hands all over you five minutes ago. Yeah, what was that about if basically you're trying to kill us suddenly? Why is it? Oh, yeah, there's an alien spaceship now. But why? Independence, Independence Bay. Bay. Oh my god, that was the Independence Day logo, just the IB4. Rika, it's me, Dad. Don't let them attack the, the mothership. What are you talking about? Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's terrible. Shoot down the missiles attacking the UFO. Um. Oh. That's... Okay. Let's see. I can't tell how successful you've been. I can't tell at all. Hey, they shot at me. Oh yeah, they're aware that I exist now. I can't deal with all these missiles. I'm just one old and ordinary Japanese businessman. Who's taking on the Japanese Celta Force because his daughter told him that basically that the aliens can't be shot down. Okay. 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 Guys, I would like to ask you to leave my stress levels alone. Reason doesn't work here, Tommy Lewis, probably Wells Fargo. Like these reasonable men. <laughs> that's a that's a sorry, that's kind of a that's I don't remember what started that, but I guess we're always like reason has failed. Time to become the world's least reasonable man just be something one of us said one day, and it's just like that's just been like a thing that's been etched into our souls ever since. Hmm. Okay. Why are you attacking the alien mothership? Did they... Did they do something? Well, I mean, your daughter called to tell you not to do it. I think it's explaining her story. That missile is straight and missed us. Yeah. Stop it. Some of these missiles aren't going to hit us. You made it. Ah, okay. How did we take over an entire ship, ship gun by herself? Titanic away. It's not every day see my match flying out of the sky. Thank you so much. That's okay. No big deal. Um. Why? 
Why would you do that? Why would you do it? Oh, bail water out of the boat. Let's get what water about your press trying to empty it. Funny object with an umbrella using directional buttons reach the goal before it sinks. Ow. Yeah, he gives the umbrella. Yeah. He has set up the I think he did, yeah. Help! He's trying to plug the hole. No, he's dancing! He was dancing on the head. I didn't even consider that he would be falling down on me. Oh, hey, he's back. Yeah. He gets thrown out, and then he uh, tries to plug it up, and then he gets thrown out of the boat, and then he gets sucked up through the hole in the bottom of the boat. Like... We can do this. We're a team. Team who inconveniences each other. Okay. Oh, that's infuriating. Like yeah. I'm not the captain. I don't have to go down with the ship. That's just not gonna help. I'm just gonna have to accept my fate on that one. Uh. Can you move? Nope. Much better the first time. Yeah, I did. I don't understand. What's the difference here? Not to feed me. I have an umbrella. Yeah, to feed me out of power, basically umbrella and Japanese skit comedy on my side. <laughs>
with speed. Hmm? Like, notice how it goes faster when the boat has less water in it? Yeah. Yeah, 40. So whatever that is, it's just like every 100 or so you get, so that's how much you gotta survive for. Okay. Feel fast, he's not, he's gonna be there as long as he's in the boat, he's not gonna do anything. Goodbye, fisherman. I think you're a little bit too cautious with the umbrella. I mean, I think, I think you're going to make it this time anyway. As long as the boat guy comes out next. There we go, yeah, you're probably going to make it. Okay. Yeah. Wait, where'd Boat Guy come from? I don't know, he just teleported in. Hmm. Goodbye, sir. Sorry for ruining your boat. Ah, train. Oh no. I cut the brake line. But why? We'll find out. Uh, well. Ah. That's the story of Tanya's day, I believe. Oh, we will continue family's exciting adventures next time on Game Quest. See you then.